Former South Dakota Supreme Court Justice Richard Sabers is being remembered as having a great legal mind and serving as an inspiration in, to many in the profession, including his own daughter. Sabers died this week at the age of 83. Couple Vance Perry Groton looks back on the legal legacy he's leaving behind. That's right, Don. Sabers served on the state Supreme Court from 1986 to 2008, making him one of the longest serving justices in state history. His impact on the legal landscape, as well as on his friends and family, will be lasting. Richard Sabers followed an unusual career path in taking his seat on the South Dakota Supreme Court. He was the first justice in the state to go directly from private practice to the high court without first serving as a circuit court judge. But what it said was he was a really good lawyer that was respected by the people that he practiced in and around and with. Second circuit court judge Susan Sabers says her father inspired her to pursue the law as a profession. So growing up as a kid, I got to come home every day to a house where my dad had had a good day at work. My dad loved what he did and it was hard to not be inspired by that. Retired Chief Justice David Gilbertson sat next to Sabres on the Supreme Court bench. It went beyond just sitting on the bench together. We would go for walks in the evening because we both like to walk and talk about cases or maybe fishing or whatever. But the good friends would sometimes disagree on cases, including whether someone's trash can be used as evidence in a criminal investigation. Clearly, we don't want the whole world going through our garbage. He did challenge me in conference. He said, well, would you want people digging through your garbage? I, uh, with a little smile, said, well, uh, they wouldn't find much. Sabres also helped open up the legal system to our viewers by writing the rules that allowed TV cameras in the Supreme Court chambers. Sabres brought a trial lawyer's perspective to the high court, which his friends and family say put the people of South Dakota first. He called him as he saw him. He never played favorites, and he was always superbly prepared. He touched many lives, and he left behind so many ways to remember him and to remember him fondly. Mm -hmm. Now, Saber's funeral will be Monday in Sioux Falls. We have a link to his obituary on this story at Kelloland.com.